All right, what's up, what's up, what's up? Big Daddy Custom back in the house. Another edition of How Daddy Does It. Um, changed the name, you know, just from the how-to videos uh, to How Daddy. So anyway, today's episode I'm going to be covering pulleys and uh, serpentine belts. Uh, how to make them, make them look more realistic. As we all know, the standard, you know, those fan belt stuff that you get in kids. You know, they got the real thick fan belts holding all the pulleys together, and doesn't really look that realistic. So I'm going to show you how I go about um, getting those real thick pulleys out of there and uh, replacing them with a little bit thinner, a little bit more realistic looking fan belts, certainly belts. Uh, this was an idea given to me by a fellow Facebooker, and um, I think his, heart, his name is Chris, I'm not 100%, I'm sorry man, I forgot the name, uh, it's X-R-L-E-N-T on YouTube if you guys want to check him out, uh, definitely check him out, he's got some really cool builds. So anyway, uh, let me go ahead and turn this camera around, and uh, we'll go ahead and get started, and I'll show you the tools I used, and uh, I'm going to show you how Daddy does it. I'm about to get started here. First off, let me go through and show you uh, what I used to do this, what kind of tools I used. <clears throat> um, first off, I use my cutters, okay, to cut off the uh, molded plastic fan belts, alright, um, if you feel safer, if you think you do a better job, uh, you, which you probably could, you can also lay the uh, belt system, lay it down on your mat, and use your hobby knife, that way you can get real close to those pulleys and cut that fan belt off, alright, so those, um, sanding stick, or your choice of sandpaper, whatever sandpaper you use normally, <clears throat> for this one, I used Tamiya tape, because I couldn't find my masking tape, but this is kind of an expensive option, um, it's like six, seven, maybe ten dollars for a roll of this stuff, and uh, with what you do to it, it's going to be worthless afterwards, so it's just like throwing it away, kind of. So um, if you can, if you have masking tape, which I do, use this. Um, this is what I would have used had I not, had I been able to find it. But uh, it also absorbs the marker, the Sharpie color, a lot better than the Tamiya tape. So there's that, and you'll want your thick, thick headed sharpie, alright, for coloring in your belt, and I use this, the thin, the fine point, to mark the spots where my pulleys were going to sit, alright, so, those are the tools that you'll need to get started, if you do it this way, um, if you have another way, that's great too, so, uh, let me go ahead and uh, kick this into gear and we'll get started. Getting back to actually getting into this, um, we're going to take the motor from the 55 cam here that you saw just a second ago and put a good serpentine belt on it. Now, uh, since this is the second time I've shot this video, um, the pulleys have been mounted and I have made a bracket for the generator right here. Okay? Um, to explain that, uh, you'll take your fine point, sharpie, or mechanical pencil, or whatever it is you use to mark your plastic, and let's say you have a motor like this, the LS9 from the 2010 Camaro SS, all right, which has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pulleys on it. Okay, you're gonna want to mark all those pulleys and 
uh, mark where they're going to go, where they're going to sit, and you want to remember which ones go where, naturally. So you may want to have a little sheet of paper and uh, just kind of do a sketch of which pulleys go where, and uh, in, rel in relation to the uh, serpentine, the belt setup, okay? Um, but since we're not doing something that intricate right now, uh, we're going to start with a three, just a three pulley system on this old uh, 55 Camio motor, all right? Um, so this one was fairly easy. But like I said, to get started, you'll want to go through, layer, either use your snips and just hold it in your hand and nip them off, or you can do what I did and take your belt set it down on your mat and get as close to those pulleys on e either side of that either side of the pulleys you want to cut that belt the factory belt off okay on either side of all those pulleys okay now I say do this while it's still white because you obviously you don't want to go through painted motor and then go back again which I actually did here um, and you can see some of the cut marks Oops, sorry. You might be able to see some cut marks on uh, where the white's coming through the paint. You don't want to do that, obviously. So, you know, get you know, get as close to each pulley as you can and cut that belt loose. All right. Make any brackets that you need to make and uh, get that loose pulley, that free pulley, get it mounted and get it stationary. Okay. Go through, sand all your pulleys to where they're round on all sides, you know, just like a regular pulley would be, nice and round, and then you're going to want to mount them, okay, and which is the step I've gotten to now. Following that step, uh, I'm going to go ahead and do this again since I found my masking tape, but uh, you're going to want to get you a length of masking tape, if this stuff will let go here. is old tape so it's probably not going to cooperate with me too too well. If you want to get a good length of it, a length that you know will cover, will go around that whole entire system, okay? Um, let me back this out of here a second. There we go. Okay. And you want to take that tape, alright, fold it in half. On, its, on the sticky side itself. Fold the sticky side in on itself here. So you have just your, all right, just a piece of tape, just like that, okay? Now, once you've gotten that, you're gonna wanna find the width of these pulleys. And you wanna cut this tape to the width of these pulleys, okay? You don't want any overhang, because on a real car, if you have overhang, it can cause belt wear and eventually belt will snap, which usually is causes a lot of problems. So, find your width, mark it out on your piece of tape, which from doing this once already, I have a pretty good idea of where mine needs to be. So I'm going to hold that there, and then you're going to want to come through and cut to that width. What, let me do it on this side so I can see. Okay, one side. That's more than enough. I guess I didn't get all the way through here. So one more pass here. Alright. Now that you have your belt cut out, okay? Make sure it's nice and thin. No bubbles or anything like that in it. 
get it flattened out. All right. So during this process, you would have got your pulleys glued on. Brackets, any brackets that you need to make, you made those, or use something that will, you know, work as a good bracket, something sturdy, and have all that glued on and be drying while you're doing this. All right. Well, while that's going on, where's my hands? You take your thick-tipped uh, sharpie, okay? And you want to come through, color your belt. And you may want to do this on maybe a sheet of paper um, if you don't like getting black marks on your cut mat. Uh, some people are particular about that. You know, the cleanliness or whatever. Me, eh, doesn't bother me too much. I mean, you can see my place is kind of <laughs> roughed up right now anyway. So you're going to want to come through and color both sides, okay? Color both sides of your belt. All right. Now that that's done and your motor's drying, we will jump over to the next step here. All right, guys. Um on to the next step here. Oh, let me close this up. Um Now since you folded the tape in on itself, you're going to want to apply a little bit of glue at directly to the pulleys where the belt is going to come in contact with the pulleys all right and you're going to have to be kind of careful doing it um when well i guess that depends on what kind of glue you use i use the ca glues uh they seem to work best and they have a kicker insta set so you know you put a little dab of glue put your part on Hit it with a little set and it's done. It stays. So, uh, but this stuff, when it grabs the tape, it will dry fairly quickly and really quickly. So uh, you're gonna have to be kind of quick. So take a little bit of glue, all right? Apply it to all the sections where the belt is gonna meet the pulley. All right, there, a little bit along the bottom of this one, and a little bit here, whoop, a little too much, a little too much, video purposes only. <laughs> So, all right, so now that you have that set, okay, you take your pulley or your belt, set it in there, hold it, get it to stay, okay, and just kind of gently ease it around. Okay. You're going to want to pull it fairly tightly. Hope you guys are getting this. Okay. Pull it kind of tight. Alright. Now, once you get to the section where the belt connect comes back with this, it comes and meets the other part of the belt, put another little drop of glue on top there. Just so it'll hold on. Pull it down. Wrap it over. Pull it tight. Okay. All right, and then you're gonna wrap it tight and let it sit for a couple of seconds, okay? Or a couple of minutes, All right? So uh, let me let that dry and I'll be right back. Okay guys, now that that's dry, um, you just come through with your cutters or you know, a little pair of scissors or whatever. Actually, I'm gonna use these scissors. My little curled scissors here. Just come through. 
Lip off that excess. That should be it, and you should be able to call it done. Call it good. There's a quick little, you know, three belt or three pulley system that I did, and it looks a lot better. It adds adds to the realism. Uh, looks a lot better under the hood, you know, and uh, it's not the big bulky fan belts that you guys are used to seeing. So. Um, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. And then, you know, you guys can get real creative. Um, like me, I have my little pot of gold, Dr. Cranky's pot of gold watch parts, okay? And, you know, doing these. This, I'm not going to do it with this one, because it's going to be a rat rod style build. But the watch parts, you just pick the ones you want. Um, usually with a set of tweezers because they're real small. And take your CA glue, okay? Put a little dab on the front of each pulley, okay? Grab those, grab that little watch part, set it on there, get it centered, and boom, you're done. And you can go from the old plain Jane motors to something like this. Now this is the motor for the 2010 Camaro SS that I'm building. It's a LS9 uh, with a little scratch built Pro Charger on it. So, but I uh, got a lot of compliments on the pulleys, and um, the guy asked me, you know, how'd you do it? So, I'm showing you how I did it. So anyway, guys, uh, it's just been another little small edition of how Daddy does it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope it was helpful. If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, feel free to hit me up and let me know, you know, uh, what you think. Um, I am on Facebook, uh, CW79 on Facebook. Uh, you can check me out there if you guys haven't checked me out already. But, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and uh, I think I'm going to get started back on the working on something else. So, thanks again. Talk to you guys in the next video. Big Daddy. Peace.